What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So this Cupid's Corner is kind of a special one uh, because it goes along with the whole show that we're doing here on our Titan Medical Health and Lifestyle show. So we did this weekend the Titan Medical Center Fashion Show. So it was the 2020 St. Petersburg Art and Fashion Week and Titan Medical Center presents that week. And we were the main highlight of the fashion show. So we were like, you know, the, the big boom at the end of the fireworks, <laughs> the explosion. Um, so and we had two shows. But it, it brought me, you know, some, some ideas of what we can talk about today on Cupid's Corner. Mm -hmm. And that has to do with fashion and hygiene. Along, hygiene. Along with, your, with, with you guys, right? Important. Dealing with both males and females and the importance of this. So it's important, first of all, starting with hygiene, right? We should definitely start with hygiene before we even get into, like, outfits. Okay. <laughs> all right. So hygiene's a pretty big thing. And, and, you know, the basics of hygiene. So we have an 11-year-old son. I'm like, every day, I'm like, oh, did you gosh. put on your deodorant? Did you comb your hair? Put some gel in there? You know, did you shower? I mean, come on. These are, <laughs> did these you are, use soap? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, these are, these are pretty common questions. And you would think this is, like, really, really basic. And, and people would just realize that, you know, this is what they should be doing, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think if you guys are a couple or married, then you probably know each other's hygiene uh, routine, yeah. right? So you know what your partner does or doesn't do uh, pretty good, <laughs> right? So, um, you know, if you've been with your partner for a long time, then you're probably used to your partner's hygiene habits, right? Um, can they improve some of these hygiene habits? I don't know. That's depending on your relationship and who you're with. So if you have some, some good tips maybe for your partner, there's a couple of good ways to introduce these things to them without offending them. Yeah, how do you introduce, like for instance, I guess, since it's probably in your brain somewhere, so yep. I'll pick it out. Yep. So let's just say that a girl or a guy, they yep. go work out, right? Yep. Yep. And after their workout, they yep. smell like dirty socks. Let's just say, oh, okay? God. Maybe they didn't put on enough deodorant She's that She's giving me the hint right now. No, I am not. <laughs> no, I'm not. But I have smelled, okay, yeah. people that have got done working out yeah. and they smell like that. And I'm sure they probably go home to their significant other. Yeah. But, and they're probably hanging out a little bit before they take a shower. So yeah. how do you get that across to them? Do you, should you just buy them extra deodorant and just be like, here? No, I, I would definitely, you know, I mean, I would come away in a positive way to somebody and be like, man, you must have killed it today. <laughs> man, you were, you know, you must have just sweated your butt off in there, which is great. You're killing it. That's awesome. Um, you know, there's this awesome spray you can spray on afterwards. You know, it's an after spray. <laughs> make yourself smell good because you know how I get, honey. When I work out, I probably don't smell the best either. So, I mean, I think that's a really easy way to, to lean into that conversation. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody understands, like, after we sweat profusely or we're working out hard in the gym or doing what we need to do outside or whatever it is, we might not smell the best. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's from sweating, perspiration, and a number of different things. Now, me, I use a clinical deodorant. That's a good so, one. Uh, you know, I so use one too. I, I really think that that's, that's a, a, a big one. And, you know, you have to look in some of these deodorants, and I really haven't, and I should, because you have endocrine-disrupting chemicals that are in some of these different things, like these deodorants and stuff like that. So just look into a clinical one, I guess, you know, as far as They work as a little standard. bit better. They do. And they, they stay longer. They stay, you know, they stay longer, so they might make them smell good. And like I said, like a body spray, or even cologne afterwards, that's what I do. You know, I mm -hmm. spray a couple a couple squirts of cologne because I have to come back to the office usually and be around <laughs> all girls, staff, uh, and a couple guys in here. But they all don't want to smell smell me right and if you're going to the gym and working out and you're coming home or you're going to work afterwards please right you know be courteous to your partner be courteous to your staff or to your peers and make sure you don't smell bad nobody likes a smelly person mm -hmm. i tell my son that all the time whether it's brushing your teeth mm -hmm. because that's a big one i mean your mouth you know what we eat when we intake some uh, you know a uh, the acids you know, could come up from from your stomach. And it's funny he mentions that because this morning um, we were actually brushing our teeth at the same exact time, right? Yep. And what was going through my head at that very moment this morning at like whatever time that was. Yeah. <laughs> we're both brushing our teeth, and of course we have two things next to each other, right? And I'm like, I wonder who brushes uh, their teeth longer. <laughs> Because we both started at the same time. I don't know if he noticed, but I'm I'm bringing it up now because I thought it was funny. I thought she was looking at me. You got funny. <laughs> you brush my teeth. I'm like, damn, I've done this for how many years? Are you like, right. No, we're just at the, we just said that. I don't know that. I don't Am think I we ever brushed. Am I doing something them. wrong here? I got something on my face? <laughs> so 
So anyways, um, I was just curious and I was like, wow, I guess I finished first. He, so he must brush his teeth longer. He's just, he's got better breath than me, I suppose. I, I mean, I just, I like to go over everything, <laughs> make sure I cover all the spots and brush my tongue and the whole nine. Uh, yeah, you know? for sure. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to have bad breath, Did you know? Did you notice that? I, I noticed you kind of looking at me. I didn't notice the time <laughs> difference and I didn't try to say who was going to brush her teeth the longest. I was just curious. It was in my brain. It's fine. Yeah. And these could be questions that you might have yeah. for your partner. You can always ask them. I don't think you they're going to... just look. I think they're going to get upset. You guys can have a brush off, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> See who has the cleanest teeth or best Jeez. breath at the end. You know? Remember, you got to sing the happy birthday song like five times. Uh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Not me. <laughs> not me. Not me. So, oh, hygiene geez. plays a big part. Right, you know, right. and this could be in trimming hair. So, you know, like me, I'm a hairy monkey or a beast or caveman, whatever you want to call me, uh, Greek. And at that point, I, I grow a lot of hair, chest, back, you know, everywhere except for the top of my head. I want more <laughs> hair there, but I can't get any more. So, uh, so at that point, listen, you know, just to trim things up would be nice, whether it be, uh, you know, on your chest or your back, if your wife or significant other likes that. Um, below in the lower regions, make sure there's not getting hairballs and stuff like that for mm -hmm. you. You know, just being courteous to them in that, that passion too. And I, I think it'll look a lot better, especially with some of the shirts that are out there nowadays, like workout shirts and stuff like that. I hate it because stubbles and all that stuff show mm -hmm. through them. So you have to have so much of a, a trim chest or a shaved chest and stuff like that. For them to look good, you're like, man, with all those little bumps on you. You look like a, you know, a, a crunch bar, you know? <laughs> a Nestle's bar. crunch bar. You know, you got all those little, little, little well, the bumps females on the back. too. I mean, you guys got to stay up to date on shaving your legs. Now, I'm lucky. I only have to shave my legs like twice a week. Um, but you guys should do that because, you know, if they go to touch your leg, they don't want to go like this and touch all these stubbly little yeah. hamsters on your legs. Yeah. So, you know. So, yeah. So take a second. Take hygiene as a priority um, and don't get complacent. Make sure whatever you're starting to do in the relationship in the beginning, you're following through with that or you're evolving in some way. You're not just letting yourself go. Yeah. Okay. Um, the next one is dressing up for your partner or with your partner. Um, you know, make sure you're, you're you know, you're. The way that you present yourself says a lot about you in a lot of different ways, mm -hmm. you know. Whether you care or don't care what somebody thinks about you, you know, when you go out in public, they might look at what you're wearing. And if it's, like, really crazy or it just doesn't fit right or it's just off the wall, you know, these people might think a different thing about you. You might say, I don't really care. And that that's fine. That's totally fine. And you should be like that. But for your partner, you want to make sure that, you know, you're appealing to them, right, in some way, shape, or form, hopefully. Um, and at that point, you can find the fashions that work for you and work for them and because that should be the most important thing. Well, not only that, do. but, I mean, even for a female, from a girl's perspective, you know, whenever you go out, you know, maybe someone like me, I work, like, literally every second of the day. Yeah. So when I wake up, I don't usually do my makeup to come to work. Like, I don't put on, you know, my little fluffy eyebrows and, you know, do my uh, bronzers and my cheek bones I, I don't have time for that right. so I throw my hair up well, not right now but I throw my hair up um, you know don't put on any makeup and just run off with my sneakers and whatever else I could find in my closet that fits so when you go out to dinner it's just you guys and you know you want to be pretty right. for your husband or your significant other mm -hmm. your boyfriend fiance whatever it is so do your makeup put on something nice a dress heels Maybe even if you don't want to wear a dress or heels, maybe even throw on some jeans with a pair of heels and just dress up a little bit. Both of you yep. guys dress up. Dress up, go out, and have a great time with each other. Yeah, so that's that's one of the tips out of this out of this segment we want to really you know send out to you guys. If you're in a relationship and you guys are always busy or you guys aren't always in the best dress, maybe he's a mechanic and always greasy. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, maybe you sure. maybe you're dirty too. It, it really doesn't. You know, it, you know, maybe you're maybe you're uh, you know in horses or something like that, clean stalls, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. So at that point, listen, plan a night where you guys can dress up and have a good time. Maybe go to dinner, go to a show. We had a friend of ours who went to a fashion show this weekend. They don't usually get to dress up as a couple. They got to dress up. He was suited up. She had a nice dress on. They looked awesome, and they had a great time. Um, and you can have, you can create some great memories out of this too. So this is just some of the tips and tricks that we like to provide you guys yeah. so remember your appearance is important it's important to your partner your hygiene is important too so make sure that you guys are improving on them or keeping a standard for yourself and for your partner so you guys can look good feel good and perform good together <laughs> all right so this has been another cupid's corner segment i'm john i'm sharice and we'll see you next week for cupid's corner on tight medical health and lifestyle show thanks see you guys. then bye